old man, bad bitch, gold tan, rolling up that old man. Life's feeling shorter, days getting longer, sleeping on me. Time I disturb your slumber. What's going on? What's going on? You're watching Tech TV with Famapco. I'm sitting down beside. I want to say legend, because legend to me usually is when like your time's expired and you've made your point. Um, probably one of the most prominent MCs, not only in the Niagara area, but also making huge moves in Toronto. My boy right here says, how you feeling, man? What's going on? How you doing? Tech TV. My man from Macro here. You already know. We're feeling good. We're in St. Catharines about to do the AZ show. I got the whole union gang with me, so feeling good. Feeling good. And that's good to hear. Uh, so if we can get right into it now, how did you get your rap career started, homie? I started in like a shed with a four track recorder with this guy actually. You know what I mean? Yeah, we started doing music like a long time ago, high school. Um, you know, and then it just propelled from there. I liked doing it, so I kept doing it. And then it just, you know, the moves started progressing. I got motivated and kept going, you know? Absolutely, man. I got to say, when we were children, this boy here was one of the most motivated hungry cats in the MC game and if I can go back to when you uh, when you first started out you were doing a lot of freestyle battling as uh, spec <laughs> spec tech okay <laughs> no doubt though cats would come because I mean we were young we were skinny little white boys you know we weighed 80 pounds soaking wet and every every cat wanted a piece of him and they all thought they were better and like do it they would crowd around you know, bring all their boys, and you would just murk them. And that's no, and I am not kidding, man. You literally, you'd murk them. Like, that was like the thing. I loved battling. I really was into like the whole, it's hip hop, right? Like the whole like nature of like, yo, I can do this better than you type thing. It's like sports or anything, right? So yeah, it all started from battling, and then we started doing the songs, you know what I mean? And then it would progress from there. Yeah, man, and progress it has done, definitely. Uh, you've done tracks with a lot of uh, known MCs in the area, especially over the past couple of years. Um, if you can tell me, like, what would be so far uh, the most prominent or, or the best, uh, the most fun you had making a track with someone, who would it be to this date? I think the best time I had was making a track was at Sunny Diamonds with uh, Lou Breeze. We did Die a Legend. And I mean, we were kind of drunk and stuff, and it just was a good vibe in the studio. And yeah, it was, that was probably the best. Thing. It's all about vibe in the studio, ain't it? Definitely, definitely. It's all vibe, man. You also have worked with uh, Jordan? Yeah. Numerous times. Numerous times. That's like my brother, you know what I mean? Shout out Jordan, JRDN. He's doing big things. His uh, singles are all over the radio, all over television. He just sold his album in Japan, made the charts. So I mean, he's doing real big things. Absolutely, man. I watched uh, an interview today with Ty, um, Ty Harper, and one of the things you touched on is as an independent artist, man, when you're hungry trying to get your name out there, uh, using social media to your benefit, because essentially it's free advertising. Uh, what can you tell, tell the artists about that? I mean, uh, like, if you're an artist and you want to really make a prominent um, impact in the scene overall, I mean, you can't just stay in your city, you can't stay in one place, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's hard to be in different cities and different, so I mean, you got to use things like Facebook, things like Twitter, uh, even things like BBM. I mean, we promote off BlackBerry Messenger all day, so Absolutely. any way you can get your message out and see your name, you know what I mean? We got the YFRWN, everything, you know what I mean? So it's just branding, it's like... You know, Definitely, man. When you put out the first CD though, man, like you touched, I believe you went to Montreal, you went to Ottawa, did you not? You know, Toronto, uh, Niagara, and that's a part of it too, you know, gaining, every everywhere you go, you're going to gain more fans. Exactly, like, getting out there and giving out t-shirts and DVDs and CDs was like, the best move because 
obviously like it's coming out of pocket but at the same time people hit you up like three days later on twitter like oh yo i was at your show you gave me a cd like yo blah blah and then you know what i mean when you connect with your fans that's how you're going to keep your fans you know what I mean? And, uh, and along with that, opening acts, you opened up for Snoop Dogg, homie. Yeah, yeah. How, how did that feel? That was crazy, man. I'm a big Snoop Dogg fan. Doggy Style was like one of the first hip hop CDs I was really, really into. Because I listened to like a lot of like Pearl Jam and Nirvana and stuff like that before. But Snoop Dogg and Wu Tang really got me into the whole thing. So that was like legendary. Absolutely. Too, that was crazy. Nas, man. Absolutely. And tonight you're doing AZ. Yeah, we're doing AZ. So I mean, that's like the trifecta right there Nas and AZ. Life's a bitch and then you die. <laughs> oh, you can swear, man. You can say fuck right. Fucking right. Me and Wolf Eye Jones, fucking right. Yeah. <laughs> I also saw you, I was in the crowd at the, uh, the Ghostface concert in Toronto, and I saw you backstage. Um, Peter Jackson was opening. I also saw on Twitter that there is a possible project with Peter Jackson. Yeah, me and PJ, you know, you shout out Peter Jackson. We got something in the works, and I mean, uh, if, if you know what he's doing already, he's already making major moves, so I mean, it's gonna be uh, a, a serious problem, man. I promise, it's gonna be great. Awesome, awesome. Well, you done heard right here. This is Sazy, man, a serious MC. Hey, it's all love. Everyone, I'm nervous right now, my hands also. <laughs> If it wasn't for, for Mapo, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. So shout out this dude right here. You know what I mean? We started out together. So it's crazy for him to be here now and interviewing me. It's crazy. It's all love. Tech TV. Yeah. What does the future hold for Sazy right now? The future hopefully holds a spaceship that can hover and shoot lasers out the side. I mean, if I can get the spaceship, I'm good. X-ray goggles, all that shit. Maybe a thermographic helmet or something cool. <laughs> Is there anything coming up in the next short while? Um, anything major? Everything. Everything's going to be coming up in the next short while. Everything's hopefully going to be major. I mean, a lot of videos. Uh, I'm working on an AOA project. It's, uh, I haven't told the title yet, but it's coming in 2012. Still pushing the YFRWN brand further. And uh, just trying to get a deal, man. Right on, man. It's all my fucking self, man. Yeah. Uh, where can we find you online? YFRWN.com YFRWN.com Stands for your favorite rapper's worst nightmare And uh, you can get at me on Twitter At, at Sazy Season S-E-S-E -S -E, and then Season Sazy Season at in front of it Yeah And if you really want to get close to Sazy Bring bra and panties to his next show If you show your left booby He'll be your friend If you show your right booby he'll add you on Twitter you Gotta have nice areolas though Definitely yeah You don't want none of that weird Pancake, fucking strange looking. Yeah, no, I. <laughs> We're good. Yo, this is from Apco with Sazy. Where you want to be? On Tech TV. Oh, yeah. Let him sit in the electric chair. Your favorite rapper, worst nightmare. I'm Ray Kane. I tried to tell him that I body him, they wouldn't let